हेलो गाइस टुडे वी विल सी नंपाय स्प्लिटिंग एरे कंसेप्ट इन पाइथन इन द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव गोन थ्रू द जॉइनिंग कंसेप्ट एंड स्प्लिटिंग इज जस्ट रिवर्स ऑफ जॉइनिंग सो हियर इन द नंपाय स्प्लिटिंग एरे स्प्लिटिंग इज द रिवर्स ऑपरेशन ऑफ जॉइनिंग बिकॉज़ इन द जॉइनिंग कंसेप्ट व्हाट वी वर डूइंग वी वर जॉइनिंग टू और मोर एरे एंड नाउ uh in this tutorial we will see how we can divide or how we can split the array so joining means merging multiple array into one and splitting means break one array into the multiple and for that we use array underscore split function for splitting the array okay so now we will go in the practical session and there we will see how we can divide or how we can split the array by using array underscore split function So dear student first we will include here numpy library so for that we have to write import numpy as n and then we are taking the array so n dot array so our array is 1 2 3 okay only three elements i am taking and then we are taking one more variable new array equals to our numpy variable is n underscore we sorry n dot then array underscore split function you have to use by using this split we can divide the array so our array is a and i want to split this into three part got it so numpy this uh, method is available into the numpy library so you have to write n dot array underscore split and we are splitting into three part and this is the given array so then in the print statement you have to use you have to use this variable new and now we will check the output so you see it is divided into the three array in the program so we can also use this for multi dimensional so suppose i copy this array and i have made this into the two dimensional form and now we want to divide into two part because dividing into two part it is easy because it is divided into the two bunch so if i do this you check it out how it is working so it is divided into two part but here suppose if i check some numbering here i write 4 5 and 6 so that you can easily differentiate and now we run the code again so it is divided like that and you can return the specific array after splitting suppose if i write 0 so this 1 2 3 will be available for you you see and suppose you write 1 then next part will be available for you so in this way we can easily split the array in multiple part so you just practice this tutorial and you will understand how we can split it and uh, you can also apply for three dimensional also by using a same procedure so i hope you understood this tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial thank you